Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today we're gonna to be harvesting the rest of the carrots in all my beds. I've got some here, and I've got some here in with my onions. So we're gonna to get to it. We're gonna get them all out of the ground. We're gonna cut the tops off, give those to the chickens, because we don't eat them. I mean, you can eat them, but we don't. We're gonna go ahead and prepare them for storage. This bed here is where I'm gonna be planting a lot of peppers, okay? I might put some cucumber back here as well. We will see. I need to get these out of the ground. I still have this, okay? This is a flowering radish. This was one of those cherry bell radishes. And boy, did it get big. It's flowering. It's bringing in the parasitic wasps and other beneficial bugs, kind of help with the garden. So I'm gonna leave that for now. Um, I'm also gonna at one point with this, harvest the seed pods, which you can see a couple of them here forming. We've got them all around. Okay, so we got some seed pods, so I'll be able to harvest the seeds for next year. But let's get to harvesting the carrots. And excuse in the background, we've got neighbors that have goats and they're just screaming. <coughs> All right, those are beautiful, look at that. That's one of those purple carrots. So I'm cutting the tops off right away. So that way they fit in my thing. Oh, I broke off the tip. And Gotta be more careful. So that will not store very well, unfortunately. That's okay, we got a lot of these. Oh wow, look at that one, guys. We got a double. That one's not gonna be a storing one either. I don't think I've ever seen that. I know it happens, but I haven't had that happen yet. Not all of these are perfect and straight, but a lot of them are good. That one's going to the Birds, we'll only keep the good ones. Oh wow, these were like all lumped together in one spot. Some of them got big, some didn't, but it's amazing how close together you can plant these Prisians without a whole lot of problems. Let's see, what are these? I don't know guys, those didn't come out. Whatever that is. Let's see, what is that? Oh, Prisian, I believe. Oh, that was a tender sweet, I believe, and that got, that didn't get any size. <laughs> got another split. And we got a Prisian mixed in somehow in that row. But look at this one, guys. Look at that thing. It's got legs. And plus guys, we're getting in some really hot weather. Today is like 90 degrees, just too hot for these. It'll make these go better if they haven't already. And you know, sometimes you let things go a little too long or they get shaded by other plants. So what had happened here in this bed, I had these laid out great, but then these got real tall and then fell over. That's why I'm staking this one, um, the, the radishes just fell over on these and kind of compressed a lot of them, damaged a lot of these carrots, kept them from, uh-oh, got one still on the ground. Pulled it up and it didn't come up. Let's see, we can find that one. There we go. Those aren't worth much. Let's see, uh, see what we got here. Huh. Nice little, I think these ones are the Danvers. They just, I don't know. Guys, I haven't had a whole lot of luck with the Danvers. Maybe they just need a little extra time, but they've been in the ground for a while. Some of these grew a lot better than others. It might be tender sweet. Tender sweets are a little thinner. The Danvers are thicker, but all right. These are the red and these get big. They're called atomic reds. I've already har harvested a couple from this row. And some of them get real big like this one. This one's gonna, yeah, look at that. Now that's a, that's a big carrot, guys. Look at that thing. Pretty cool. I think these are all tender sweets. Yeah, oh, some Parisian mixed in.
decent looking tender sweets. Yeah, these tender sweets are the winners, guys. I mean, I've, I've gotten so much better harvest from those than the dambers, and I'm pretty sure that's what these are. Tender sweet, yep. See the Danver right here, that was that row. And I think I got maybe a handful of them, not much. I mean, not that all the tender sweets are coming out great, but sure a lot more of them. What I'm gonna do is, I'm not, cut, I'm not brushing these off, I'm gonna keep the dirt on. I'm gonna lay these out in the sun, and I'm gonna let these kind of cure in the sun a little bit. That'll harden up the skins a little and help them store a little longer. So that was almost completely full of carrots. That's pretty cool in that bed. That opened that up quite a bit. So all this bed has onions, and then I, in between the onion rows, I put some carrots. And these are all the small Parisian carrots. So they're the little ball carrots. Let's see how they did. Not bad, not bad. And they're just so small. They fit perfectly in between other veggies. They're not gonna take up a lot of room. They're great for maximizing your space in the winter. I got some big ones right there. For Parisians, those are those are quite large. Yeah. Wow. That is one big Parisian carrot. I think that's the largest one I've ever gotten right there. Now, the other thing this is going to allow me to do in this bed, one, it's opening up the bed, so allowing some of these onions to get a little more light. Okay, because they, I mean, they were getting light, but now it's gonna really open it up. I can finish growing these, but I can also get some nitrogen-rich fertilizer, which the onions need, without having to worry about the carrots, because you don't want high nitrogen fertilizer for carrots, so, but you do for onions, so this is, this is good. It's gonna allow, last a little bit here, maybe another month or two, onions to continue growing until it's harvest time. Um, I can get some nitrogen in here for them, let them grow much larger. Well, look at this, guys. I only got five rows in here. One, two, three, four rows in here. I've already almost filled this up with Parisian carrots. I mean, that's what I mean by they're great for maximizing your yields in small raised beds because they just don't take up a lot of room can grow a lot of them in a small area. And their tops don't grow really large, so they don't block the sun too much. They're slow growing, so if you plant them in with something else, a lot of times, whatever you plant, not onions, but a lot of things, whatever you plant, it's gonna be harvested before these even get to size too, so. Oh, uh, we got one that's split. That'll go to the chickens. That won't store. Well, the chickens don't store anything. They'll eat it right away. Just in this bed, four rows. Look at all those Parisian carrots. And by the way, the reason why I grow these, not only for their size and the ability to kind of get in between stuff, but these are much sweeter than some other carrot varieties. We're gonna let these cure in the sun with these other carrots for about 45 minutes. Let's get all this green vegetation to the birds. They will love it. Free food for them. Kind of cuts down my bill in chicken feed and also gives them nutrients that they wouldn't normally get. And all this turns to eggs and fertilizer for me so nothing is wasted and i've got some carrots in here i probably could have kept but we got a lot i've actually got quite a few harvests of carrots that i had harvested the last couple of days 
And so I've got enough carrots to last me a couple months in the freeze in the refrigerator. But boy, these birds love these carrot greens. 45 minutes. I'm going to do 40 because they've been out here for a few minutes already. But 45 minutes to an hour is plenty for these to cure and get those skins harder. All right, so after 45 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and gather these up. I'll brush off some of the excess dirt, but not too hard. It's okay to have a little dirt. We stick them in the plastic bag, a Ziploc sealed bag. Throw them in the coldest part of your fridge, or if you have a crisper, that'll work best. And then these will stay good for months in the fridge. So carrots are some of my favorite veggies to grow in the winter. Now we're coming into spring, it's mid-spring, it's very hot. So it's time to get, you know, stop growing them. But they are my favorite in the winter. They're sweet, my family likes eating them, and they're really easy to grow in a small confined space. Just this past winter, I planted late fall, midwinter, and then I planted even more uh, come, you know, late winter and I'm harvesting early spring. They're usually around two to three months to harvest. And I've harvested probably 20, 30 pounds of carrots over the last couple months. And that's just in a couple small spots. So originally I had planted a bunch of carrots here, a whole bunch of carrots, carrots right in this bed. I harvested those and I got maybe about five, 10 pounds in this bed and I didn't even plant all the way, okay? It was just kind of half, half of the bed. So this is a four by four section. I got about 10 pounds. And then I went over here to this bed and I planted a whole bunch. This is a six by three, okay? So not much more space than that four by four, but I harvested probably about 15 pounds here of carrots. And then I planted again here just maybe a three by four section. I didn't go all the way, okay? So three by four section, and that's what I got here. I also planted the Parisian in there. So I've harvested a little bit of this bed as well over the last couple days, um, but this is the major harvest. I'm just getting the rest of them out. And it's quite amazing. I mean, like I said, at least probably 30 pounds, guys, of carrots. I mean, maybe even more. It's been really great for carrots this year. And the nice thing is winter doesn't really seem to affect them. We got down to 16 degrees and nothing happened to the carrots. And they were small. Some of them were real small and they, it didn't phase them. In fact, I've read that they can get down to zero degrees. Maybe the leaves might get a little problem. Uh, you might get some, some frost damage on the leaves, but the roots themselves can handle down to zero. Um, so no matter where you are really in the United States, unless you're maybe Maine, I don't really know where you guys are getting below zero regularly. You probably can grow carrots throughout all the winter. They really are my favorite veggie to grow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.